Hey everybody, how you doing? Damian Zamora, CEO of Go Mobile Solutions, coming to you live and direct from Cabo San Lucas. We are here. Welcome back to the happy hour, y'all. That's right. We are here and I have one of my great friends, one of my great friends, Rob Burns from San Diego. He and his wife, really good friends of my wife and I. So we, this is like family friends that I get to introduce you today. And Rob Burns is the founder and CEO of videotelepathy.com. He's going to talk to you about how you can use videos to market yourself and your clients, including the different videos and their uses, how to scale a creative agency using SaaS. Anyway, you're going to learn some stuff. You're going to get entertained. You're going to have some great stories. I'm super pumped, man. Say hi to the Go Mobile community, Rob. Hey, Go Mobile community. How you guys doing? <laughs> Good to have you on, man. I've been waiting right. for this one. Video, as you know, and mobile are two of the hottest sectors of anything for marketing for businesses now. You know that. And, you know, where video and mobile meet, obviously, is, is incredibly uh, uh, good information that we all need to know. But content creation and how we can sell and how we can monetize and how we can actually scale our businesses as agencies, landing more clients using good, smart video work. So with that, I'll, I'll turn it over to you for your first piece. Yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, and, and talking about just video and mobile, I, I think I just read somewhere, I, I can't remember who did the study, but um, um, it's something like 80% of all content on the internet now that's absorbed is, is video. And um, that's huge. You know, I mean, you know, and a lot of it's like, you know, TikTok or YouTube or, or, or news or, or, or whatever, but, but people are absorbing, you know, more and more content and, and they're actually absorbing more and more micro content even even like you know we talked about doing documentaries and we do these you know uh, and actually we even do these docu documentaries docu series where it's you know kind of people that are doing good stuff in the world and we actually tie those into brands so so the documentary is is actually like there's there's no marketing or sales or any kind of thing in there but but these these kind of conscious businesses they kind of hitch the wagon and, and maybe have a relationship with these with these you know the subjects of, of the documentary and and you know back in the day you know a documentary would be you know feature length and now like we just put one on um the water bear and it was eight minutes and 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 really it's like everything that's in those long feature length documentaries are condensed down and and so that's that's one you know kind of trending thing that we're seeing as far as you know what's going on the internet it, is people are taking you know people are watching more video content but they also now that there's so much more video content, they're also a lot a lot more picky. So they want quality video content, and and they really want everything just condensed down, you know, into that abridged version where they can just version where they can just watch that, you know, piece of content and and you know get what they want to know and move on to their next thing. And it's you know that it's that whole you know kind of goldfish attention span thing that, that's uh, that's going on. So so that's that. Yeah. Well, those videos, you know, that, that they, you know, you got the ADD people like me, it's like, it better be good content that's going to basically capture my attention, hold my attention. And that's why I think the, uh, what do they call the before video world? Was it the analog world? What's the before video world? Because yeah. it, all the posts are just copy. Like, I no longer engage with that. Like, I don't even know if I know how to engage with just straight copy anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Even like long... Yeah, I mean, and and that's the thing too, though, is is really you, you still have to do that because, I mean, people's just people's brains are just different. Like some people are researchers and and they want to look and go through the data, and so sometimes that's where that long long form sales copy you know is at. But other people are visual, so maybe they want to see a picture or they want to watch a video, and 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 it's just the way you know the way they learn, and so. We really like having a combination. So, you know, adding, you know, basically giving every option. But I also think too that, you know, it, you know, video is really still pretty recent as far as just video blowing up because I think a lot of people just didn't know the technology was there. They didn't know they could put video, you know, you know, they didn't know the bandwidth was there and they didn't know that, you know, it, it was just going to work on the internet. And so it's, it's been the last, 
couple, maybe two years, you know, I mean, we've had video telepathy six or seven years now. And the last two years is where people are really just understanding and they're getting it. And they're, and they're really understanding how to use video because it, it is different. So, you know, writing copy for, you know, something that's on a page versus a video is going to be completely different. And, and so, and so now people are really learning how that works and how to use a video. And, um, it, it's a great way, especially if you're a personal brand, because then, you know, people get to know, like, trust you. That's, you know, a personal brand. That's what, that's what you're about. And so using video, then you really get to, you know, you know, see that person as for who they really are, as opposed to just the stuff that they're writing on a page and, and a few pictures. And so that, that, you know, that's very powerful or, a brand story, you know, a brand that has its, you know, certain ethos and what they're about. And, and, and that's a huge thing we're seeing too, as far as people, um, you know, I would say folks that are 35 years old or younger, they actually look at the companies that they buy their stuff from now. And they say, you know, what do these companies stand for? And so, so those brands that are really kind of creating a story saying, well, this is what we're about and this is what we believe in. And, you know, and, and we're just like you, those are the ones that are really doing super well. And it doesn't have to be really fancy or complicated or anything. It's just, it's really about making a connection. And that's really, I would say on the video side that, you know, everything you do, that's what you need to look at. It's like, you know, why would somebody watch this and how do I make a connection with that person and, and really try to understand who your audience is. So. Right on. Well, that's a good lead off. We yeah. are often running. Good person to look into and, you know, and, he, and he's kind of polarizing, but, and I used, I used to just be like, oh, God, that guy bugs me so much. But, but like, if you really listen to him, he's really freaking smart and he really knows what he's talking about, you know, on this kind of stuff is like Gary V. And, and Gary V has, a, and, if, and if you want, I can send you a link. He's got like a page where it's like, how do you take one piece of content and like turn it into like, you know, 30 years worth of stuff or whatever. I mean, like you, literally you can just take like this one little one minute thing and, you, and it just turns it into this, these billion pieces of content. So, um, you know, first and foremost, I think context is everything. So, you know, what, what is a message, you know, that your client wants to get to their people, you know, so, so if they're, if they're looking to grow their business, you know, what's their message and, 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 and I think context, context is more important than say, Qual, you know, video quality or, or, you know, technical, you know, whatever, because it's real. And that's the thing too. So if it's like a cell phone thing shot at an event, you know, make, you know, don't try to make it like Scorsese, just make it a cell phone thing shot at an event, but focus on the content, focus on your client's message. You know, what is, what does he want to get across? You know, ask him those questions and ask, you know, people that are, that are at his event, you know, how, you know, what was their, what was their experience and, and tie that in. Like we do something we, um, um, we call it a market review video, which is kind of like a testimonial video where we'll have a, um, a, a client and, and he's got all these things that, that they want to talk about, you know, for their product or for their business, but they can't really do it because if they say it, you know, they, it, nobody believes them because it's like, oh, well, this is the best product in the world. And then people are going to, yeah, of course you're going to say that it's your product and you want us to buy it. So you're going to say that and we don't believe you. And, but you know, if, if you ask a real person on the street, that same question, and you ask them all these, all these benefit based questions, all whatever, whatever message you're trying, your client is trying to get to his people, you know, that's what you need to focus on. And so, because then you could take those questions, you know, when you're asking the people that are in the crowd or whatever, you know, so what was your experience at this event, you know, and, and whatever that goal is that he's trying to go to the event, ask them that question. And when they say, oh, it was, it was the greatest thing, I, you know, I learned, you know, xyz and you know it's this is this is a game changer you know that's what you you know that's what you ask and that's what you shoot so so think about context think about not what it you know you know not think beyond even what's in it for your client think about what's in it for your clients you know the, the people that are going to hire your client and and those are the, that's what you want to focus on okay Hey, I now I've got off. something I for you, um, Rob. Yeah. Should you always shoot horizontally unless you're shooting for the purpose of stories? Yeah, you know. I learned that in this campaign that I just did because when I sent a bunch of stuff to my video guy and there was a bunch of this stuff and he went ahead and created a video with a little bit of this and a little bit of that, I didn't like it at all. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, yeah, I think shoot horizontal because because you can slice up a horizontal so it'll still fit in a vertical format. Um, you know, and you can kind of book in like the tops and bottoms and, and actually maybe put text on there or something like that. So it, so it works better. Whereas if you're just doing a vertical, then it's really hard. You know, it, it looks kind of weird on a horizontal format. Yeah. But, so that's a good tip for everybody. Just, you know, if you're going to make content for you or your clients, break it out horizontally. If you're going to do it like this, do it like this, you know, instead of like this. Yeah. And I know we're always kind of, you know, this is how we do it, right? We're used to doing it like this, but and that's why maybe they created story format. But, uh, you know, and, and, and to, to contradict myself, um, I mean, experiment with it because the, the, like, like we see, we, we saw it for a while, you know, we were shooting, you know, so somebody wanted like a, like a, a, a digital commercial or if like a Facebook ad or something, and we would shoot it horizontal. And then, um, but we, we would also create like a square, you know, a square format for say like Instagram or something like that. And, and a couple of clients accidentally ran their Instagram format on their Facebook page. So it was like the square format and it looked kind of weird, but like their sales, went, their, their, their um, uh, customer interaction went up like 30% as far as, you know, like whatever action they were trying to get them to do. And I think for me, maybe my, my guess is, is maybe it's kind of a weird pattern interrupt where it's, you know, they're looking at it and they're going something, you know, it just catches their eye because it's not, it's, not congruous with everything else that's going in there. So, so sometimes doing something that doesn't quite fit in there. And, and again, I would say just experiment. Um, it, it, it might actually turn out to be, you know, kind of a, kind of a, a good thing. So. All right, cool. And you know, there's also reels and I, I really, yeah. from the real process because the stories, as everybody knows, if you play with the stories, it goes away in 24 hours, but reels is also Instagram. It's also vertical and you can take a series of videos clip them together put some music on it and you've made a little video for instagram purposes um, yeah but other than that i mean my 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 what i learned was definitely horizontal as much as possible but you're right yeah i mean you, you do need to mix it up a little bit I, I think you know if you're starting out and you just want to kind of keep things right you know do horizontal and then you know later on when you're you know when you're just kind of experimenting or testing things out sometimes you know, goof around with your formats and see, see if uh, it, it causes some kind of a response and, and just test it out. Where else can you take us then? So, so that whole context thing I think is key and you know, what to shoot. I think the Gary B that you teed up, one of the things that I learned from Gary was record, uh, document everything, just yeah. record everything and then figure out what you want to use later. Gary V he's like the most humble guy ever. And he'll tell you that too. So, so. <laughs> But he's awesome. I mean, every time, every time, I'm like, ah, and then I'm like, ah, you know, he's kind of right. You know, he's he's, he's a smart well, guy. He, he got me. He got me thinking early on, like years ago, about just like whip it out, just yeah. whip it out and record. That's and it. Gorgeous. That's it. Like, I think, and I'm I'm really big on that too. Where I'm allow you know, kind of failing forward, just allow that process to teach you. You know, a hundred percent of the time, if you don't shoot it, it's not going to work for sure. And so. You know, if, if you screw it up and it's a disaster, then, you know, you've, you've just got that much data to know, you know, what to do next time. And, and you just keep going and you just keep failing forward. And, you know, even like when, I, you know, when we designed our platform, we kind of did it that way. We would do stuff and it would just crash and burn. And then we're like, okay. And then we just recoded, you know, and, and you know, that, that, that was uh, probably the next thing. If you guys want to talk about it, I, I can kind of show you how we took, you know, something that's kind of a, a creative agency and put a SaaS spin on it so that we could actually be more creative, but we could also do a lot more, you know, content for a lot, you know, so. Yeah. Different kinds of video, I think is really Yeah. Good. So let's, yeah, we can go into that. So, and I can kind of explain a little bit about what we do. I don't, I don't want to be pitchy, but, it, but I'll, I'll explain because we, we kind of actually have our company divided up into a couple different divisions where, the, the first one, and, and that's where we would use this, this platform, is, is really designed towards e-commerce and, and Amazon sellers and really emerging brands. And, and what I mean by an emerging brand is somebody that's maybe 10 million a year or below, you know, which, you know, for e-commerce sellers, that's, you know, that's, that's you, you know, you're, you're still on a kind of a growth trajectory just because, you know, you, you, you can sell 10 million and, and still not even be able to get a paycheck. And so... Um, so with those kind of clients, you know, 
they can't really afford to have like like you know a, a full-time agency or a full-time creative or or you know that kind of thing they're still doing stuff themselves or they have somebody in, inside the company that's that's kind of managing that stuff but they're but they're still outsourcing it and, and they're you know they're they don't have like a cmo and and so for them we, what we wanted to do is we wanted to create these kind of agency level videos where it's that quality but you know it, it's price point where somebody that's that's really starting out and they, they can learn to do that and so um and, and so what we did is we kind of created like a certain suite of different kinds of videos we, we researched really kind of what's everybody doing in e-com so what do they need and so like we would do say um for amazon sellers we would do something like a product demonstration video product demonstration videos because amazon's really good at um they're really good at making like a million rules and then not telling anybody and then like summarily just rejecting everything you know from some dude that's outsourced from somewhere that looks at it for about 30 seconds and so you really kind of have to fit within this tight guideline that, that most people don't know and, and just the fact that we just did so many videos that we kind of figured out that formula and so the product demonstration video is really showing the product being used and it's putting the product in the user's mind's eyes so we what you want to do is you really want them to imagine that they're using the product you know while watching the video and and so so that's the goal and so then it's also supported by um dynamic text which is animated text and those are like the benefit points those are the things you know that are also going to cause you know kind of maybe an emotional purchase and then um you know different kinds of music and things like that and then um and those actually convert really really well uh, I would say the next kind of video is, you know, the next step up is where say maybe somebody it's like maybe uh, a Shopify seller, you know, an, an, an e-com business where they're not constrained to actually having to, you know, follow those Amazon guidelines. And then maybe you have like a spokesperson video where it's, you know, it's almost like a QVC style thing where it's like, Hey, I just discovered this, you know, cool new face cream. And, you know, let me tell you about it. And then, you know, they kind of go through the benefits and those actually, believe it or not, the demo videos, um that aren't talking probably convert twice as good as as kind of those old style qvc style videos and, and you know eight years ago that's that's all we did you know like eight it'd be like an eight minute video with like a spokesperson talking about the product and and now like a 35 to 45 second demo video will just crush that and and really what it is is basically taking all of that information and condensing it into 35 or 40 seconds and um you know uh going from there as opposed to just having this big long you know thing where people are kind of watching and losing their attention and whatever so so you know three or four years ago people e even then they would they you know those the first the first style would convert better another good video i would say and, and this is again you know is, is on the e-com side would be something like we were talking about the market review video and that's where we'll go and we'll take we'll take a product and we'll go out, um, we'll do two different ways. So, so one is, is like, we'll go out on the street and, and this is stuff too, that like, um, anybody can do, and you can do this with your cell phone even. So if you're like, you know, if you're starting out and you, you know, and you want to do stuff and you're on a budget, like you can do this on a cell phone. And this is where we, we would go out and, and we would have like five or six questions that are real, you know, based around a benefit point. Um, and again, like I said, I was saying earlier, these are things that probably like you can't say about yourself, um, about your business, but if somebody else said it, you know, they're going to edify you. And so an edification, I would say is probably, you know, the best thing you can do in a video as far as, you know, having conversions or, or, or having somebody take action, because, you know, it's, it's that whole little primitive primal thing where it's, it's, you know, you know somebody came back to the campfire and said hey there's a mastodon out there and they're like oh we better look you know we better look out or you know a saber tooth tiger or whatever um and, and so so what we'll do is we'll take those five or six, we'll we'll go out and say maybe it's a coffee brand and maybe it's an organic coffee brand and the client has challenges because you know most organic coffee you know for coffee snobs believe it or not they believe like organic coffee is kind of weak and 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 bitter whereas like there's more commercially grown stuff that they like better it's more robust and so so that's the problem that you have to overcome so if, like if you made a video and you said well hey i'm you know our coffee is like you know it's you know it's super robust and it's organic and it's you know completely different than you know any of the other organic coffees people are gonna go yeah whatever yeah sure 
But if you go out on the street and so maybe set up in front of a farmer's market, you know, and you ask that same question and you're like, Hey, so what do you think about this coffee? Like, you know, is, how do you like it? You know, you know, um, you know, is, you know, as far as taste and, they, and they're like, Oh, wow. You know, it's actually a little bit sweet. It's not bitter at all. And, 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 um, you know, and, you know, and it, and it is, it's super robust. And so then you just take that part and that's, that's in your video. And so then you would ask like five or six questions like that. And then you would, um, and those are the, so then you would take those answers and those are, that's the part that you would show in the video is, are, are the answers. And so then it's like five or six people that are actually, you know, trying your product and they're actually giving their real impression of what that product is. And, and they're answering those questions and they're solving those problems that you want your client, you know, to know, and they're, or they're overcoming those objections and they're doing it in a way that you can't do because, you know, if, if you say it, then they just don't believe it. And so th those are amazing. And what's really cool about that is because, so then you could take that and, and say you're a new brand, then, um, and you don't have any testimonials because we'll get people all the time. Like they'll reach out to us and they're like, Hey, can you just hire some of your actors and, and give us, you know, and we'll give you a script and they'll just do testimonials. And, and we're like, well, no, you know, because, you know, one, it's unethical and two, you know, in, in about three seconds, you're, you're going to burn your brand forever because, you know, everybody's going to know you're doing fake testimonials like it, it and and then you're screwed. But doing something like this, now you have all these testimonials, you, you know, w without even selling it. You're like you, you don't even have to sell your product. You know, you, you might not even be on the market yet. And but you already have all that, you know, community ed edification that's already built in. And then you can take those and you can slice them up. So then you have you're asking all these benefit based questions and they're all like little 15 second answers. So you can make those into little 15 second pieces of micro cut. So you have this one big video that maybe you put on the front end or wherever, uh, you know, or your product page, and then you can take these little benefits and you can make social content out of them. You can make micro ads. So, and, and this is great too, because if it's a new product you're rolling out, then you can, you can, you know, you might think, well, people are going to buy my product because of, X benefit. And then it turns out, you know, as you're going, you know, after you spend a bunch of money on ads and trying to figure things out that it was actually Y benefit, but now you have like five or six benefit points that are little 15 second snippets. And you can see, you know, what that are, you know, that are going to cost you the same as, as doing one video. And then you can see, well, okay. So everybody, you know, everybody's clicking on this video, you know, that's talking about this thing. And I thought it was going to be this thing, but like, nobody cares about that. And so now you can kind of gear your marketing towards those different, you know, towards that direction. And, and you can do it with, you know, just by shooting one video. Yeah. And, and it doesn't have to be like, you know, you, you know, I mean, we, we use like 6k cinematic cameras, but it doesn't like, it didn't have to be fancy or, or pretty. Like it can, you know, it, it, it could just be you because especially when you're, you know, when you're starting out and, you know, people, people really want reality and they want, they want that, you know, that kind of perception. And so, um, you know, the fancy stuff's good for the bigger brands, or even if you're a smaller band, and you want to look like a bigger brand, you know, that's good, but it, it's not mandatory. It really, you know, authenticity, um, you know, actually really connecting with your client, you know, your customers, you know, understanding what the customers need and then putting it out in a video, that's really what's going to convert. So I just made all that up too. So <laughs> I can tell, man. No, I'm sorry. I'm kidding. All right. So we're going to land this plane. Rob, thank you so much. Hey, for thanks for time. having me thank on. You. Yeah. On. Thank you for your wisdom today. I learned some cool stuff. Thank yeah. you for sharing with everybody today, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Um, any final words? I think I've, man, my, I'm done. My words are, I've, I've used all of my words. The best compliment you can give to this man is to take action with what he shared today. Big time. Excellent. Big All time. right, man. Rob, thank Thanks you so much. Have Thanks, a fantastic Rob. Fourth of July weekend. And I'll just shut up and let everybody finish off their buys. Thank go you, mobile Rob. Or what? Go, go mobile. Go home. Go. go mobile or go home. All right, guys. Love you guys.